going on everybody welcome back as i can see i'm home we got big bertha we're finna roll on out to the um petro see if i can get them to do a diagnosis for me man so y'all gonna have to start calling me um mike's deadhead trucking or something man get this dispatcher hold on let me cut this off so we don't get hit with that um the little claim thing they be trying to do so anyways made it home around 11 o'clock last night so i pretty much was driving for what 13 hours yesterday, man. Pretty much what it came down to. Um, told the dispatcher a number of times if I'm, when I do a 34-hour reset, if I'm not at home, I need to be under a load. So either I'm home for home time or I'm under a load for 34. Told him that a number of times. And then it, he waited until I, I texted him and told him I was empty to say, okay, let's do a 34. All right. So I did hit it 700 miles home. Cause like I stated to y'all, man, I'm not gonna be out here not making any money. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit in the truck and not get paid. And you irritate me, you think I'm finna just sit in the truck? Yeah, bro, you tripping. You real life tripping. Don't call me for my juice, you know. All my parents, y'all know how it is. You get out there and we eating the kids snacks, we eating the kids juice, everything. Sometimes I gotta go hide in a closet, you know what I'm saying, just so I don't have to share it with them. Cause you know, soon you ruffle a little bag of Cheetos or something, all you hear is little footsteps. I want some, I want some. I'm like, nah, chill out. But yeah, so um, pretty much knocked out, what, right at 1100 miles yesterday? I was not playing, man. So um, I'm officially, I've officially lost hope in this dispatch already. I'm, I'm pretty much done with him, man. I, I'm, I'm not accepting any more loads from him when it comes down to it. So if he do hit me up tomorrow, ask me if I'm ready for a load, you know, I'm just going to hit him with the, you know, hey, I appreciate you for trying to dispatch me or whatever, but, you know, I'm not accepting any more loads from you. I mean, I ain't tight and see, you know what I'm saying, what um, dispatch man is going to do and get me somebody else. You know, he told me to give this guy a try. Felt like I gave him a try. He wasn't listening. Um, this one just won't listen, man. He, he, he don't... He, he, he literally shows he don't care what the driver wants. Um, that's supposed to be your, your uh, partner. And um, he don't care about what you want, how, how you want to run. So if that's the case, I don't, I don't want you on my team, the way I look at it. You know, um, I can be stubborn at times. I can be selfish. Not really selfish, but I can be very stubborn. So when it comes down to me, I've stated this a number of times before, man, I already know what I want. You know. I've been driving long enough to know what I want. I know where I'm going, where I'm not going, man. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I already know. So, um, this dispatcher obviously didn't get that. He, you know what I'm saying? He, he, even when I first, the first loads, when he was trying to dispatch me, oh, I'm trying to run you all, run my other trucks, man. I didn't, I didn't ask you to do that. I already told you what I want. You know, I'm a very verbal person. I'm going to tell you what I want. And um, usually if I have an issue with somebody, I'm going to bring it to that person. You know, I don't like to go over somebody's head and, you know, oh, hey, this guy's not doing this unless it just comes down to it or unless I really just got fed up, you know. Excuse me. So, yeah, 1,100 miles knocked out yesterday, man. I feel like shit. Um, I got a headache, you know, just from being up so long, man. I pretty much driving from 5 a.m. to um, 11 p.m. last night, man. I was tired. The truck made it home or at least it made it to the Petro. So, um, like I said, now I'm finna head up there, see if they can get me into the shop to do a diagnostic on it. Um, from what I've pretty much done, come to, to conclude, it's either gonna, it's somewhere on top of the radiator. So it could either be the reservoir is cracked, it could be the top of the radiator is cracked, which is what I'm believing. Um, it could be that little hose that run from the back of the reservoir to the side down to the radiator, something like that. It could be that. Um, like I said, we're just gonna get to the TA, see if somebody um, over there that that's a little more mechanically inclined that can actually tell me what it is. So um, that's what we got going on for today, man. Today's Sunday, you know. Um, like I said, it's like I, I've told you guys a number of times, man. If you know your truck got issues, man, get it home. Um, I'm not gonna sit out here on, 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 on the side of the road or be out in, in you know, saying six, seven, eight states away in the truck, um, you know craps out on me 
because at least if, if they say, oh, it's going to take two or three days to fix it, I can just sit at home, you know what I'm saying, spend time with the kids, um, get done any other things that I need to get done around the house, and, and that's just pretty much how, how it's going to go. So um, I'll pretty much get back to you guys once I get up here to this Petro. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I'll pretty much get to y'all once I get back up here to this Petro. We cruising. Um, and Big Bertha, man. Um, I, I think I told you already, but yeah, we got 28s on here, man, and it don't ride too good. Um, it actually rubs. I had to um, trim the front already, and then I have to trim a little bit of the back on the passenger side. But um, I do got a lift kit I'm planning to get for it. Not, not a real big lift kit, just a two and a half inch lift kit to put on it that I'll put on here myself, you know, and we'll keep going. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys at the um, Petro. All right, we're pulling up to the Petro. Not sure if y'all can see my lease truck over there. It's off to the left. Y'all already know who we rocking with. For whatever reason, we still rocking with him, right? Y'all probably like, man, what is wrong with this dude? So let me come over here and park. And then I'm gonna go get a parking spot so I can drop the trailer that is. And, um, you know. But this is what we gotta deal with, man. Everybody want a truck, man, until you gotta deal with stuff like this. Nobody wanna deal with stuff like this. I don't wanna deal with stuff like this, to be honest with you. So let me go pop the hood for y'all, show y'all what's going on with the truck before I move it. Come on. So y'all can actually see all up here on the hood right here. They got a lot of um, coolant splatter. So as of yesterday, you know, it was all over here, down here, in this area, even splatters back there. I mean, as I can see, you got some splatter down here, down this little wiring harness. That, that actually looks like the brand new wiring harness that they didn't replace. Let me get on top up here. So as y'all can see, all that right there. So it's wet over here. So something's going on in this area right here. So it's either this hose right here, it's cracked somewhere over here, or maybe even down here, but for whatever reason, you know, something's going on right here and it's getting it all over there. Cause it's all wet over here as well. Yeah, so it was mostly like in that area, if y'all can kind of see where it was splattering at. So it was shooting up the top part so the top part is pretty much right here so um, i'm gonna go ahead and move the truck go drop the trailer into a parking spot and um try to go get checked in with them over there see if they can uh you know what i'm saying get me get me in hopefully get a diagnosis done so i can know what we're working with and yeah we'll come back to it that's on beaming today ain't it all right so we got like a 45 minute wait so I'm gonna go ahead and go get me some breakfast and run back home. But um, yeah, man, that's what we dealing with for today. This is how I get there and drop my um, 34 hour reset, you know. So we'll see what it do, what it say, man. I'm hoping it's something simple as, you know, hey, maybe you got you got this hose that needs to be changed or clamp that done went bad. So I mean, obviously if I could have seen where it was doing it at, I would, you know, fix it myself right but can't always get everything the way we want so i'm gonna go ahead and leave the truck here i've already lowered my landing gear and i guess i'm gonna run to mcdonald's and give me some hot cakes y'all can tell man this is actually my favorite vehicle this is one of my favorite vehicles that i own big bertha you know i have the, the um, big bertha the excursion i got the tahoe the Benz, and then i got the dually so the dually is actually my top favorite that's the one that's supposed to be ready for my birthday, but the place that's working on it out here, man, they suck. So, once I get the truck into the shop, once they tell me something, I'll let y'all know what it is, man. Man, do I have a headache out of this world. But I'm sitting here, getting ready to get pulled into the bay. As I can see, we do got a check engine light now. So I don't know what that's about. 
But um, yeah, finally getting pulled in. I'm hoping it's something minor, man, or something that I, we can get fixed today so I can get back on the road tomorrow if possible. Um, you know, we'll see. Even if it is the radiator, um, which is what I'm assuming they got a hairline crack on the top somewhere. Um, I'm hoping they have it in stock. We can just go ahead and throw it on, man. Get it fixed so I can get up out of here. So, you know, once they do their thing, man, I'll let y'all know what it is. All right, y'all. So he did a pressure test on it. And it was the small holes over here that was at the front of the um, coolant tank reservoir. So he's already took it off right here. Connects right here and then connects on the other side. Um, I was hoping and thinking it was that as well. Damn, it's a lot of slippery. And pretty much that, what is, that's what it was. So he did the pressure test on it. So it connects right here on that part of the reservoir. And then connects to the top of the radiator right here. So hoping they have that hose in stock, man. They can go ahead and get that fixed. We can go ahead and park this truck and be ready to roll out tomorrow morning, man. That's what I'm hoping it is. He said that's what it was. So yeah, some little good news, right? We'll get some type of break. All right, y'all, so it was just the hose. <clears throat> so now we gotta put some coolant in there. So we we'll gonna grab the antifreeze right here. It's still a brand new bottle, if I'm not mistaken. And he done took that ladder. But yeah, so we just a little low. It was that hose right there. So he replaced that little black hose and I believe he said he replaced the clamp or something like that. Still waiting on the bill. So while we wait on that, we're also gonna um, go ahead and get the DLT inspection that VL wants, they're covering it. So um, like I said, we do got an engine light on, so I don't know what that's gonna do. I tried to diagnose it, just saying no fault codes. So I don't know what that's about. So yeah, um, they haven't gave me the price yet. I'm hoping it shouldn't be no more than what maybe I mean, just the part itself, what, the little hose, probably, what, $10, $15, if that. Um, but because of diagnostics charge, I don't know if they're going to charge, I think they charge, what, $125 for a diagnostic, so we're probably looking at about $200, I would assume. Um, but we'll see. All right, so here it is. Here we got. To fix the truck. $140, it was that, um, like I said, it's small holes. So the diagnosis was $121. Diagnosis, $121. Um, they well, pretty much charge an hour of labor. Um, the hose was $7. The clamp was $2. And shop supplies, so it is what it is. We got the DOT on the truck and trailer. They both passed. We got our stickers right here. So hey, everything was done at home. The DOT inspection cost $100. That was covered by VL, $99.56. So that's it, man. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put all this in the truck. And I can go home and enjoy the last couple hours of my 34 hour reset with the family. Get bird on my damn truck. Wrong with you, cuz. So now we gotta pretty much get the engine washed out. We gotta put the stickers on the side of the trailer. I'm assuming I'm supposed to take the old ones off. So what I'm end up doing is just setting this stuff on the seat. I'll be back to the truck in the morning. Oh, just like that. And you know what? Let me just put it on the dough. Play it safe. Put it on the dough. <laughs> so $140 fix, you know, could have been worse. Could have been the um, no oh, snaps. Could have been the um radiator. Luckily, it wasn't. Yeah, so now we can get hop on in Big Bertha, head on home, man. Now we gotta wait and see what's gonna happen tomorrow with this dispatcher. Somebody got them jakeys on. Mr. Peterbilt over there got them jakeys on. Yes, sir. I don't know if I had told y'all, man, but um, I'll put it in another video. Not anybody probably, not so many people make it to the end of my videos. They'd be too damn long, but yep. That's what it is, man. Truck is fixed. $140 fix. Hey, I can ride with it. Um, if, if I would have got the hose myself after he told me, I still would have paid, I would have paid the $120 
because I mean that's how much they charge to diagnose. They charge $125, so it, it just didn't make sense to pay the 120 and then still have to go get stuff myself and do the labor myself if it's if, if it's already included. So you know we got it good on that. Um, that TA right there, um, I usually have an issue with them, man. But lately, um, you know, <coughs> shit, excuse me. <coughs> oh, damn. Lately, I hit them up for some work. They get it done for me, man. Uh, so I don't know, you know. May maybe they change, they turn things around. We'll go from there. They got a little biker club over there. So yep, yeah, now I get to go home, enjoy my last couple hours at home. Yeah, so. Until next time, guys, if you got any questions or concerns, drop them in the comment section below. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. If you want to get in contact with me, truckingwithbigdaddy at gmail.com. That's the quickest way for you to get to me if you don't already have my number. I'll catch you guys in the next video.